Hi. Welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got after the closing day of November 9, 2021. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the bull normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. There is a weak opportunity to buy discretionary sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 2.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $205.64. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.21. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell technology sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $166.78. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $1.13. Energy sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Philips 66 company was a previous top seller alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Philips 66 company is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.9%. You may expect now a sell return of 3.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $76.64. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $81.05, unless is overvalued. Financial sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock stable of financial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy PayPal holdings. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 2.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $220.43. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $1. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell BlackRock. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.4%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $947.53. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $2.12. Morgan Stanley was a previous top buyer alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Morgan Stanley is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 3.0%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.9%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $102.64. But we expect a possible sell price of $103.25. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $98.87, unless is undervalued. Visa Incorporated was a previous suggested vertical call option. The buy call strike price was bought at $217.5, and the sell call strike price was sold at $222.5.
we are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on November 12, 2021. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the bull normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy American Tower. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 0.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $280.65. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $2.72. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Simon Property Group. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.9%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $158.71. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $3.16. Healthcare sector ETF was a previous suggested vertical call option. The buy call strike price was bought at $133, and the sell call strike price was sold at $136. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on November 12, 2021. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. This is a new buy suggested butterfly option. On the table, Amgen Incorporated has two buy calls strike price at $210 and at $217.5 and a sell call strike price at $213.75. This spread option will expire on November 12, 2021, and the estimated price is at $1.36. Biogen Incorporated was a previous suggested vertical call option. The buy call strike price was bought at $277.5, and the sell call strike price was sold at $280. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on November 12, 2021. Industrial Sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell General Electric. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.9%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $111.18. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.69. FedEx Corporation was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that FedEx Corporation is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 2.4%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.7%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $247.68. But we expect a possible buy price of $243.03. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $250.05 unless is overvalued. General Electric was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that General Electric is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.7%. You may expect now a sell return of 3.9%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $106.93. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $111.8, unless is overvalued. Material sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. 
Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Dupont Dynamores. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.1%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $79.38. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.24. Air Products Chemicals was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding in short. You can observe that Air Products Chemicals is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 3.2%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.4%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $309.57 but we expect a possible buy price of $305.35. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $313.83, unless is overvalued. Discretionary Sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of discretionary sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Amazon Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $3,491.93. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $2.93. Amazon Incorporated was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Amazon Incorporated is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.8%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.7%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $3,515.09, but we expect a possible buy price of $3,416.65. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $3,590.16, unless is overvalued. Amazon Incorporated was a previous suggested vertical put option. The sell put strike price was sold at $3,440, and the buy put strike price was bought at $3,490. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on November. Netflix Incorporated was a previous suggested iron condor option. The sell put strike price was sold at $620. The buy put strike price was bought at $670. The buy call strike price was bought at $665. And the sell call strike price was sold at $675. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on November 12, 2021. Nike Incorporated was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Nike Incorporated is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.5%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.6%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $172.73 but we expect a possible buy price of $169.68. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $179.01, unless is overvalued. Nike Incorporated was a previous suggested vertical put option. The sell put strike price was sold at $170, and the buy put strike price was bought at $175. We are holding it unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on November 12, 2021. Starbucks Corporation was a previous suggested vertical put option. The sell put strike price was sold at $113, and the buy put strike price was bought at $115. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on November 12, 2021. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the bull normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of Staples sector. 
our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Costco wholesale. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 0.7%. You may sell at a minimum price of $507.15. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $2.22. Technology sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy Alphabet Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 4.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $2,998.54. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $16.03. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell applied materials. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.9%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $145.85. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.75. Advanced Micro Devices was a previous suggested vertical put option. The sell put strike price was sold at $137, and the buy put strike price was bought at $141. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on November 12, 2021. Alphabet Incorporated was a previous suggested vertical call option. The buy call strike price was bought at $3,000, and the sell call strike price was sold at $3,130. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on November 12, 2021. Cisco Systems Company was a previous suggested iron condor option. The sell put strike price was sold at $54. The buy put strike price was bought at $57, the buy call strike price was bought at $57, and the sell call strike price was sold at $59. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on November 12, 2021. Communication Sector ETF belongs to the bull low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy AT&T. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 0.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $25.17. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.27. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. T-Mobile US was a previous suggested vertical call option. The buy call strike price was bought at $122, and the sell call strike price was sold at $124. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on November 12, 2021. Verizon Communications was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Verizon Communications is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 2.0%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $52.87, but we expect a possible sell price of $53.43. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $52.1, unless it's undervalued. Utility sector ETF belongs to the trade normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. 
Duke Energy was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Duke Energy is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.4%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.6%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $102.53, but we expect a possible sell price of $104.16. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $99.9, .9, unless it's undervalued. Bitcoin belongs to the bull normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the cryptocurrencies table. There is a mild opportunity to buy Cosmos. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 6.4%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $36.1. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Litecoin. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 18.4%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $220.92. Binance Coin was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Binance Coin is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 5.3%. You may expect now a sell return of 6.9%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $592.56, but we expect a possible buy price of $558.89. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $640.32, unless it's overvalued. Cosmos was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Cosmos is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 10.9%. You may expect now a buy return of 6.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $38.26, but we expect a possible sell price of $41.69. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $35.24, unless it's undervalued. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.